Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to do a TDD or test de driven development in Spring Boot MVC and develop a microservice. So we are in this uh, website called start.spring.io. Uh, let's, you can choose Maven or Gradle, Java and Spring Boot version. I'm going to go with the 201. Let's name our artifact to TDD demo and we will need web as a dependency generate the project uh, save the project over here let's open our IntelliJ idea uh, import the project choose gradle from the uh, options use auto import finish Now that our project is successfully imported, we're gonna go to the source folder and we're gonna start writing the test and the test will ultimately drive the actual development of the code. So come here and uh, create a package. Let's name the package to controller. So the application that we are going to build is called greetings microservice. Uh, what it will do is in the endpoint it will receive two parameters name and gender and based on the gender it will decide what greeting to give or return back. For example if the name is Razan and the gender is male it will return back saying hello Razan how are you. If the name is Razan and the gender is female, it will return, hello, Miss Razan, how are you? So, hello, Mr. Razan, how are you? And hello, Miss Razan, how are you? So, that's what we're going to de develop today to demonstrate this test-driven development. So, let's go ahead and develop a test. Uh, let's create a test class called greeting controller test. Let's annotate it with adred WebMVC test. So this annotation will make sure that only the controller layer components are scanned by Spring and only the controller layer beans are created. So this is basically for the performance purpose and it should be used along with run with spring runner spring runner that class alt enter okay when you annotate with your class with adderet web mbc test is spring will create a bean called mock mbc uh, which is helpful to simulate the http request to the endpoint Let's auto wire that. Let's create the first method which will test for gender male and it will return a 200 OK response code. Let's define our parameters that we're going to pass to the controller. The first parameter is name and the value will be Razan. The second parameter is going to be gender and value is male. 
Uh, let's write our test. Mock MVC dot perform this is gonna be a get request there are four type of requests get post put delete and there are others also but we are gonna focus on get request for this tutorial get and then a string let's import get import is static okay and then we're gonna pass the parameter name is name and uh, dot param gender and the value will be gender let's say our url uh, will be slash api slash greeting and let's expect status dot e okay let's import the status let's import the static matches dot status dot is okay So what this test uh, will check is that this endpoint exists and it accepts two parameters, name and gender, and it returns a status of 200. So let's run the test. So as you can see, the test failed. And when you scroll up, you'll see the reason. Assertion error, I expected 200 response code, but was 400. Uh, it happened because we don't have the code yet so let's go and create our controller class greetings controller let's annotate it with REST controller request mapping uh, let's split it vertically request mapping should be API and the method level request mapping should be get mapping Greetings. Void. Greetings. Okay. Now let's run our control uh, controller test. So as you can see the test passed and it's green in color it's because the controller method is not doing anything it's just returning and by default the return code is 200 so the test is uh, successful but it's not doing much right now let's fix that uh, let's also expect uh, content Uh, 
uh, let's expect the masses to be something like hello mister because we know that the gender that we're passing is male we can expect it to be hello mister name how are you so the format should be name okay Now you can see the assertion error saying that it was expecting hello Mr. Rajan how are you but was an empty string because it was simply returning nothing. So let's fix that in our test. Return new response entity. Let's copy the same thing. We don't have the name here so let's change our method parameter method signature to accept a name at the rate request param name name at the rate request param gender gender now that we have this code our test should pass again and it should be green over here so the test is green again now we'll go and do some additional logic so it's working perfectly for male but what about female let's create another test and pass a female And in the female, it should return expect a uh, miss. Hello, miss. Razan, how are you? So let's run that. As expected, it failed because it was expecting hello, miss, but it was hello, mister, because it's a hard coded string that it's returning. So the way to fix that would be uh, to check the gender field and print that appropriate salutation string salute equals to male dot equals gender mister else miss Let's also pass this as a parameter. Sorry. Let's run all of our tests. So we got our uh, controller working, all of our tests are passing and when, if we send uh, gender as male, it will send us hello Mr. Gender, how, how, hello Mr. Name, how are you? And if you send the gender as female, it's gonna return with hello Mr. Female, how are you? So congratulations, you got your first TDD working. Now we will modify our test to expect a service layer and then we'll change our code to delegate the logic to the service layer to get some uh, data and then return in the controller. Thanks for watching. 
don't forget to subscribe and comment if you like to see this kind of video is in the future thank you very much